everybody love L with the boy. Everybody love L with the boy. YouTube, what it is? <clears throat> it's your boy. They all right, man, and I'm back. I got another video for y'all. But uh, before we jump into what we got for the day, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, hit that notification bell so you know when I go live, man. You know, I just, I do this for y'all, man. It's a hobby. It's fun. I enjoy, you know, video games, bringing information and all that. But uh, like I said, man, just, you know, just hit them buttons below. But um, it's Friday. It's the end of the week. I got a free Friday, you know. I put some time in to get all work. We had other plans, but you know how they go. What you know what canceled them other plans. So ain't no need to even state in the reason. But on yesterday, we had the pleasure of and I don't even know if you would call it a pleasure, but we'll get to that later. The Xbox Game Showcase. And what a, what would an Xbox showcase be without some of their most known flagships. You know, they started off with Halo. And I I don't have much to say, you know. They didn't even, the game wasn't even played on a Series X. The demo they showed was all done on PC. So it was like, how, how do you take it? And at the time of the, you know, at that time it was being shown, you did not know that until later, when the article came out, you know, it was saying that, you know, it was ran on a PC with similar specs to it. But, you know, of course, a PC is much better than console, depending on how it's being, you know, being built. So, you know, how do you take the visual of what you saw if it wasn't actually on the Xbox, you know? So it was like, ah, okay. But it's Halo. Typical Halo shit. Nothing changed, really, you know. They said bigger world, bigger than the last two Halos. You know combined so you know you got the i don't know if it's gonna be quite open world but you got the open world aspect so they gave you halo and and then you know what would be another xbox showcase without forza so forza had was supposed to be in record in engine so on xbox 4k 60 and don't get me wrong visually it looked good it looked like some ray, uh, ray tracing aspects was in there. So, you know, all the shadowing and the lights and, you know, the movement, how shit reflect, you know, it changed. So it did look good. I, I will give them that, you know. But, uh, of course, I believe, what, they said Forza Motorsport. Don't get me out if I ain't mistaken. Ain't it already out? So it's just another remaster to me. So, I mean, shit. What was, what was you expecting? But, um. Then you had uh, State of DK 3. And, uh, you know, I just chose games that was either appealing to me, visually appealing, that, you know, might have took some of what Xbox had to offer to show to the people, but it was somatics. So, I mean, it didn't. It wasn't a lot of demos. It wasn't none of that. It, like I said, all of it was just somatic. So, you know. I, I, I just picked the ones I like. So then, like I said, you had the State of Decay. It looked good, you know, a good trailer. You know, old girl in the middle of the woods, fucking tripping like anybody else would. <laughs> so, especially at a time like that. So, it's like, hey, yo, what, what's next? And then you had what? Uh, Stalker 2. I mean, it seemed pretty good, you know. It, it, it didn't... It was all right. Well, that, that's about all I can say about it. And it said too, so I don't even know what the first one was like. Maybe I need to go back, do some research, look at it, see what it was, see where it's continuing on in the Stalker 2. But like I said, gameplay trailers, it looked like it might have had a little bit of in-game action in there, you know, during the trailer when they showed it. But, hey, who knows? You know, it's a game showcase. So we just... We just, you got to take it or how they give it to you at this point in time. You really can't make your opinion until you get it in hand, till you actually get to play it to see what it's going to offer. Uh, so then, you know, we're going to go on next. What was it? Uh, Something else that I liked was the Warhammer Dark Tide. Seemed pretty good. Seemed like it'd be a fun game. You know, 
is it just me or did some of the games look like it had just some more clarity because it was going to be on next gen and you know some of the rendering didn't look like it was a step up from anything you know so it's yeah you made it look good somewhat visually but some of the graphics still look like current consoles so uh, I mean how you take it you know so it's more like yeah it was all right it ain't nothing to complain about yeah yeah so what so on you know like I said Dark Tide Warhammer hey, yeah. first person shooter how many of those have we had you know really ain't changes with a lot of people need to so that's what they sticking with you know so they're gonna stay with that you know maybe of course they probably had multiplayer go along with it and you know that so on to the next one now what i really like that stuck out to me was the medium why i like playing weird shit that, that's how i stumbled upon some of the these you know these games that i play when i i think i played uh I didn't know what to take from Senua, so I tried it. Like I said, it turned out to be some weird shit, which, which made it a dope game, and, you know, so, and old medium, two different worlds simultaneously, side by side, and how that shit jumping at you, so, I mean, hey, yo, I, I, I might play that, you know, like I said, weird shit, a, a Plague's Tale, I played that, you know, I wish I had it streamed or did uh, gameplay videos or whatever for that game, that was an awesome game, I, like I said, just, Scrolling through and stumbling on it, I just have fuck. <laughs> okay, I try it. Yeah, so the medium, I like that, you know, and um, it was pretty decent, you know, but, but those are the three games that. Well, what, what, three or four? How many I got up here? You know, that caught my attention. You know, the rest of them was ass, so, so, you know, wasn't no big deal. But that's what we got. You know, you, we didn't get nothing else. There was no, what we really looking for, pre-order dates, actual release dates, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it's like, man, don't keep showing us this shit. We, we still waiting on when we're going to get it. I mean, you know, um, it's like what was it last week when they did the whole hands-on with the playstation 5 controller i watched that i didn't make no reaction didn't do no video to it because it just seemed like so the fuck what you know they did with the astro world shit um probably something i ain't gonna never play it was like i mean i mean how can you give me something on what's coming up next Especially like the controller with all the dual, what, what is it, the dual sense, you know, with the adaptive triggers and stuff like that, you know, and that's stuff that, you know, the people actually want to get in hand. And I think that that's what was taken away from us with this uh, next gen coming up. You know, nobody actually got an on hand of it. Okay, so you got some people got the on hand of the Xbox, but no one yet that. YouTuber that we may watch has got a hand on the dual sense to I mean of course the guy doing it he gonna promote it the best he can tell you all the information he know more about it but you know I actually a actual viewer review a reviewers view is a little different you know they, they can give you more sense into it as to the oohs and ahs of it as you know will it really make it good for this iteration so I can't say I was impressed with none of the showcases that, you know, we've stumbled upon on this year just due to how it was delivered, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, they stick with what they know, bring it back to you over and over again. It's like they try to keep old titles alive, making new iterations to them. When actually, I would like to see like brand new shit. I don't want to see a part two or anything. I want to see brand new fully loaded you know let's take advantage of what we really got going on here besides making old sh new iterations of old shit you know i just i just don't see the point of it so but th that's my take of it you know 
what we wanted to see or what the people was really looking for. I don't think we really got it out of none of them. It's just like, okay, we're getting games. Of course, we know we're getting games, but win. Actually win. So that's my take on it. I think everything we've seen so far to me just been bland, blah, ah, boo. I mean, the dopest thing so far was when they did the, they finally did a PlayStation 5 reveal. And, I mean, shit, we, we ain't getting nothing else. It's like, so the fuck what? Tell me when I'm going to get it. But what's your thoughts, your views? I mean, how did you take yesterday coming from Xbox? Did I mean, did it jump out at you? Like I said, I mean, you got a lot of people. There was a lot of games that... They asked for, they was waiting for, they was willing to, you know, ready to get, you know, give it that chance. And it's like, to me, maybe just because I ain't no Xbox fanboy, you know, like I said, I ain't never really played a whole lot of Xbox exclusives, man. But to me, it was just like watching another damn series on TV and being disappointed by the outcome. But like I said, man, y'all let me know, man. It's your boy. I'm out. Maybe we'll get deeper into this whole thing, look at the game. Or maybe start. Let me know, man. I, I want to take the PS5 exclusives they showed about a month ago and take the ones they showed this week. You know, do some comparisons, you know, see see what we can see for what we got right now. Y'all let me know what you think. You want to see that, you know, we, we'll start it. We'll make it episodes. I know yesterday they showed like 22 games on the uh for the Xbox joint. So we might try that. But I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, man. Like I said, hit that like button, man. Leave, just do whatever you can to get it out, man. I'm trying to get the Mag Squad bigger, man. I'm trying to get a bigger Mag Squad family. You know what it is, man. It's your boy.